Tired of ads interfering with your favorite sports podcasts? Good news. Ad-free listening is available on Amazon Music for all the music plus top podcasts included with your Prime membership. Stay ahead of the game by downloading the Amazon Music app for free or go to amazon.com slash sports ad free. That's amazon.com slash sports ad free to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. And welcome to this week's Made in Broome and starting the show with the Blinders with Brave New World. And in my opinion, I think this band will go on to become the UK's biggest band. And also we played that track as a thank you to Gavin Monaghan, who has been our most listened to show with over a thousand listeners. Incredible. So thanks to everybody out there who's listened. We've got Lou back with us again. Welcome back, Lou. Hi, Dave. Also, we've got Julianne, who's coming on to the show a first time. So welcome, Julianne. Hi, Dave. We've got The Surrenders coming in. Now, this is a band I really like. Julianne likes the band, and you're just starting to get into them. Yeah, as I've well. only actually listened to them last night, but they were awesome. So, this is The Surrenders and Float. Great choice. Turn on, tune in, drop out, and float away with me. Yesterday is now, today is tomorrow's history. Ever wonder what it's like to see? 
set your conscience free Only you will realize when you know who and where you want to be Of a normal say will tell you what you want to hear Ask the right questions You'll soon become their greatest fear And the pathways to the golden sunshine Creativity that floats within your mind Today dream to another woman Where peace and love are all you can find And the pathways to the golden sunshine The creativity And we're very pleased to welcome onto the show Scott and Connor from Hello. The Surrenders. Hi, Dave. Hey, you mate? I know you've been busy, so we appreciate taking the time out to join us Cheers. in the middle of this feeling tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very busy tour, yeah. So how's that going? It's going very well. We've played um, a lot of good shows. They've all been really like, packed out and a lot of energy from the crowd. It feels it- like we've taken it up a step. For a debut tour, it's been like really, really good, hasn't it? Like mm-hmm. every, every gig's been like another level to what we've played before. Okay. Very positive. So you're from Dudley? We are from Dudley. We are, are. Yeah. Gornal in Dudley. You play a lot of gigs in Birmingham. We do, yeah. You've played at Get the Fear in Digbeth. You've played yes. at Sunflower Lounge. Where else have you played in Birmingham? We've played The Flapper. We've played The Hare and Hounds. We've played Mama Roos. We've played all over the place, haven't we, really? Mm. Um, what was that? Oh, what was the gig in Digbeth called for Gavin? I think it was at the Wagon and Horses. Yeah, it was Wagon and Horses. It, which yeah. was uh, near the Rainbow. We've played the Rainbow as well. Yeah, played Rainbow when it was open. Yeah, lots of gigs around Birmingham. Your style of music has been compared to the, the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix, you think? Uh, it's a very bold assessment, but... We'll take it, we'll take yeah, it. we'll take it. <laughs> is that where your influences have come from? Your influences come from a lot of other places, just 
than listening to tracks. You know, yeah. you can be influenced by what you had for breakfast or <laughs> <laughs> or a painting. Do you know what I mean? It's not it's not as linear as just listening to tracks. You know, it's 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 a lot of it. A lot of your influence is life. We're going to play another track, another track from your band. Uh, this one is our. Uh, going to be our debut single it's going to come out in spring we're going to release it with this feeling records it's called shouldn't have to dig take it coming at ya So 2017 was an incredible year for you guys. You joined force with this feeling, the Isle of Wight Festival, Sound City, Pirate Studios, and you supported the amazing Colbert. Yeah. Yes, we did. So how did that one go down? It was a beautiful night of debauchery. <laughs> I bet. Followed by a horrible plane flight to Amsterdam. Oh, uh, yeah, you went to Amsterdam that night, mm. didn't you? Did he yes. straddle you? Yes. He, he came off stage um, a little bit worse for where after our guitarist went up and joined him. Yes. <laughs> Got on stage for <laughs> shared a bottle song. of whiskey. Did he share with you what you, th- what you thought of the band and any advice? Or? We, uh, well, he asked us to send him a song, didn't he? So we sent him across yeah. like a thingy and um, he just wrote back saying, like, it sounds great, there's a lot of heart in it. Mm. So That's amazing. He was positive. It's like the best pen pal ever. So how did the Soccer Six Fest, Six Fest of August 2017 go? He was alongside lots of celebrities there. It was. Well. It was like a festival for um, for music against homelessness. So um, It was a football match. It was like a football tournament, and That's there was cool. loads of bands there, like the darkness and stuff. And there's also like music festi- like a music festival going on as well. Mm-hmm. There's a big stage. 
so that was that was good. There was a lot of drinking throughout the day, wasn't there? And football as well. What would you say have been your highlights, two thousand seventeen? I think just the whole the whole journey. Yeah, I don't know. As a whole, it's just been a it's we've been just crackers. we've just been gigging all year. And I think just, festival season was. Without a doubt, was it just probably. the Isle of Wight you played at? Was there others as well? No, we played. We played Why Not Festival. And we also played Reading. Yeah, so Reading. That's a big one. We played Reading. Yeah, yeah. That was that was really exciting. I think it was because it, it was. It's nothing since, like we've never done anything like that with festivals, have we? Mm-hmm. So when it came to it, we were just we were just walking around, just like, oh my god, this is just <laughs> the yeah. best thing that we've like. It was uh, so what good. Have you to be got doing lined that. up for this year, breath festival wise? We're not hundred percent sure yet, are we? We can't tell you that right now. Oh, top so, secret. Uh, yeah. We might. We might have a few things. <laughs> Okay, so you got another choice for us, guys. Do you want to introduce your next track? So, yeah, we're going to play a yep. song from our friends, The Cosmics. Uh, this one's called Johnny.
ready? So. Yeah, we're going. Yeah. We're live. That was As Mamas, and I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> 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 uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> what was, right into the mic. What was I going to say? Uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, welcome back to the show. <laughs> we're, your, we're your hosts, The Surrenders. <laughs> We've just played As Mamas. And now I'm a big fan of this band, Harrison. Yeah, and you're friends with them as well. Yes, yeah, we've um, we've met them a few times. We've seen them play once. We went to watch the Cosmics, who were uh, on it on previously, and they were happened to be supporting them. So we met those guys, loved their sound, didn't we? So and we actually like ran up to them and was like, "Oh my god, guys!" Yeah, this is it. Yeah. This is blues it. Blues musicians. Uh, was that outside? Yeah, at the Sunflower Lounge. I was helping them move their stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> to you. No way. Uh, yeah, oh, I remember that gig. I yeah, was we there. went straight up to him, didn't we? And was like, you guys, Yeah, we you, need to talk. Didn't you talk about doing talk. some gigs together? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, yeah. Think, I think we're playing um, Psych Festival. I'm pretty sure they're on the same bill as us for, we're doing like a Planet Art project with the Mother's Earth experiment. Yeah, yeah, they're and on the same bill as us for that. So that's, the, that's so the Heron Heron, so there's a lot of Birmingham bands we're going to be playing on that show. So we're going to talk about another friend of ours, Gavin Monaghan. You've done a lot yes. with Gavi. Yeah. Great bloke. Legend. Um, He's a good lad, oh. You've done some of the things at the Wagon Horses with him. And yeah. you've, you've recorded stuff with We've Gavin. recorded a song, yes. We have, it's not 100% finished yet, so we mm-hmm. obviously can't play it. But, yeah, we've, re- we've re- been recording with him. And it's, uh, it's a good little, good little studio he's got. It can't be far from where you are. No, it's not. It's actually like 15 minutes up the road, which is... Not our usual three-hour drive to Liverpool. <laughs> you know, it's, it's good. It, and it was different recording at home, actually. Done, yeah. We've done some recording in Liverpool, but that was the time we went to Gav on it, and it just yeah. it was so much easier to go to Gav, wasn't it? Really? Like he came to one of our shows when we supported the Blinders at uh, the Sunflower Lounge when we first started with this feeling, um, and he just just approached us after the show, asked us if we wanted to do a track, um, basically got us in on a whim sort of thing, um, and just get it all. And we've got a bit of a belter like side back from him, but it's not ready yet. When will it be ready? Soon. Is that all you're going to say? <laughs> we don't know. So. Oh, no. Well, he's a busy man. He's a busy man. He is a busy man. We've been busy boys, so it's it's been hard to coincide our diaries, but I'm sure it'll be done soon. So you've played some gigs at a place we know very well, me and Louise. Get the fear. Yes, yeah. And how did they go? Because you played with Sean Walsh and the plagiarist, didn't you? We did, we did. Uh, it, uh, it was wild, <laughs> yeah, to say the least. I love Sean. We, uh, Hi, Sean, if you're listening. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. We, um, we went there... We played the gig, didn't we? It was my twenty-first as well, so I think everyone was just at the motive because it was it's like take your own drink, isn't it? Yeah. So everyone had the motive, like to just yeah, just get smashed. We can't. I hate to be the person to clean up after that gig. <laughs> oh, I know. It'd be horrible. So we're going to play another track from your band. Okay, this is something that no one has ever heard before. It's so an you exclusive. Guys, you guys are lucky. Fresh out the package. Lucky. It's called "I Won't Be the Fool." Put your hand around the nail. Take deep breaths and then exhale I won't be a shoulder you can lean on Not someone you can dump all your dreams on
So you've just listened to the new and exclusive track by The Surrender, so I won't be the fool. We're now going to talk about the closure of music venues and what's happening up and down the country. So how do you think this is going to impact on the scene? Because we're losing more and more venues. And we've just heard the sad news that The Flapper is about to close this summer. This is an iconic venue and has been around for over 20 years. And I believe you guys are playing there on the 9th of June. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 9th of June. Um, we did like our first ever EP release at The Flapper when we were really young. Um, so to not have that there... I can't imagine what young bands are going to do, do you know what I mean? It's no, it was a big influence for us, and we recently recorded a live video at the uh, Flapper as well, which yeah. we'll no doubt release for everybody to listen to. We actually to. heard about the news when we did uh, like a live recording there, as James was saying, um, but we didn't think it was actually going to go through, it just no. seemed a bit impossible to actually happen, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because the Flapper holds a lot of great memories for a lot of bands and it's where everybody starts off. And, you know, it, again, it's really sad news. And I think up and down the country, we're finding this more and more. And how do you think that's going to impact bands getting out there, wanting to play new venues? Just exposure, really. Like, obviously, like, the amount of people going to gigs and stuff, they want to go to the gigs, but if the venues aren't there, like, obviously... You need your local venues, You need the venues, you? Exactly. and you need to be, the venues to be putting on as many shows as possible. And it's, where you learn, it's where you learn your trade. Yeah. There's it's, too many of them closing down into, like, the new gin bars and yeah. things like this, and flats and... Yeah, you've got to be able to get a into, costa. Yeah. yeah. There, but yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> where's the culture? What's good about a Starbucks here? You can get one of them in town, but rock and roll stars are dying. Like, and um, if you don't have grassroots, and you're not gonna, because really you've got to start anymore. off in your hometown, haven't you? In your yeah, area yeah, sure. rather than and you, le- you learn to love the venues as well, don't exactly. you? And it's yeah. like it's like a home, it's a community uh, as well. The flap is quite so. This is going to be a pretty gig, a big gig for you guys, yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah, be hopefully try and smash it. A big send off, it's going to be, it's, yeah, it's going to be. Be emotional, bit of yeah. a milestone. Well, we'll I'd be imagine. hearing any new material, of course. You will every time, every yeah. Time. We always do something now. We're going to go with another one of your choices now. If you'd like to introduce it, please. Okay, this one is by the Americas. It's called Something Is Gonna Happen. Turn it up loud. <laughs>
The Pursuit of Love by The Surrenders. Book of Me, that's a good song. Thank you very much. 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 (laughs) We've just been talking about who writes what and how they all come together. So who put the lyrics to to that song and who did what? Oh, our guitarist, Richard, who's not here with us today. Oh, shout out to Richard. I know this uh, programme's called Made in Brum, but I want to talk a little bit about my Northern Exposure Mm -hmm. and what you've been doing with those guys. I know they've done you a lot of good reviews recently. They have indeed. So what's the relationship there with Rachel and the gang? Uh, We first, I think we bumped into them at the festivals maybe. But we first spoke to him properly at the Big In 18 show that Mikey put on down in London at Nambuka, wasn't Nambuka, it? Yeah. 
Clash and they just there. embraced us. <laughs> yeah. They just really they're, they're just, just showing love. Yeah, they just uh, recently did an they article just took a on show us, to us. Uh, a few days ago, and uh, they put us like you know bigger than eighteen. Very kind words. Yeah, apparently we're one of the best best things that they've seen or something this year. I no, bet amazing. Yeah. Just throw that one in. Them. Yeah, they have a massive following, but uh, I think independent bloggers are a big part to the music scene at the minute. So was that the Fred Perry subculture bands to watch you just spoke about? That was included in the in the same thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Same note, yeah. Okay, we're gonna move on to the, uh, your next track from Dead Summers. Tune called Get High. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't didn't oh, I'm well, sorry. <laughs> As she said. <laughs> yeah, we played a few times with these guys, and what they're doing for the Birmingham scene is pretty pretty right on. So this is Dead Summers and Get High. Dig it. So guys, coming up in 2018, anything exciting? What have you got coming up next? Woohoo! Uh, we've got Brighton this weekend. No. We've already played Brighton. We've already played Brighton. <laughs> and it was fantastic. No, we'll, we'll yeah. leave nah. <laughs> Anyway, so yes, we've got um, we've got some festivals coming up, hopefully, with Somar Festival, and then we're playing Paris um, next weekend. Yep. So tell us about Paris and what, what you're going to be doing over there. Uh, well, we got offered the gig by... A uh, very lovely lady named Melina, and she's actually used to be the photographer of Pete Doherty. I don't know whether wow, she's still really is. Cool. Uh, we met her at uh, Water Rats when we played there with Paves, and she just approached us, and I spoke to her for a while since then, and then she she just been like pretty much starting this British invasion over yeah, to yeah. Yeah. she's done loads of bands over there aren't she so the, this be the first time you played in Europe yeah yeah, yeah. Really international mm. I'm international band yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to drink loads of wine and eat good food and visit, <laughs> <laughs> and visit Jim Morrison's grave <laughs> and drink loads of champagne and it's going to be awesome and play a show as well yeah, yeah. 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 forgot about that so is there anywhere that you haven't played yet that you'd like to play uh, up north, like Scotland. Yeah, Scotland and America. So where would you like to yeah. play in Scotland? There's some great venues up there. King Tut's. Definitely. King yeah. Tut's. Awesome it's got a bit of King Tut's. I've heard the crowd up there is wild. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the Scots are wild. They love the music. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, what, that's, that's what we need. And where Big else scene. would you say you'd like to play? America. America. Anywhere yeah. in particular? LA, California? Uh, All over. Texas. Texas. <laughs> yeah. You need to go south versus yeah. southwest. Get on that. Yeah, definitely. 
And we're now going to listen to another track from The Surrenders. Yeah, this one's called No Paper. Classic. It's the, uh, yeah. the anthem of the West Midlands, if you <laughs> didn't know.
come to the end of the show, and I'd just like to thank the lads. Thank you very much. No, Dave. Cheers so, for having us. I think your new stuff is absolutely fantastic, by the way. And thank I you think very much. Going really well. Thanks for joining us on this week's Made in Brum. Also, thanks for Julian for a first yes. show. Well done, Julian. Julian. Brilliant. So it just leaves us now to play out with your final track, which is a band or artist that's been an inspiration to you musically. We're going to play out with a band that's a massive inspiration to us, uh, both musically and to our live performances. It's uh, Led Zeppelin. This is going to be live at Denmark Radio, 1969. How many more times? Yeah. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce Led Zeppelin to you. On bass guitar, John Paul Jones. John Paul Jones. On drums, John Bonham. Lead guitar, Jimmy Page. And myself, Robert Plant.
se queja one thing that my family and friends know me for, it's being an amazing gift giver. I owe it all to Celebrations Passport from 1-800-Flowers.com, my one-stop shopping site that has amazing gifts for every occasion. With Celebrations Passport, I get free shipping on thousands of amazing gifts. And the more gifts I give, the more perks and rewards I earn. To learn more and take your gift giving to the next level, visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash ACAST. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash ACAST.